Hello, Fida Master Ingvar Johansson from Iceland. I'm gonna try something new in this video. Uh, I'm gonna play against much uh, lower rated players. Just to see their mistakes. Uh, I don't care if it's fair, I'm ready if I lose, I <laughs> lose. Uh, it's a family game. And he's ready 12.65. So, immediately plays b6. Uh, okay, I will give him the option of taking on a 3 I don't think he will. So, okay, so far his opening moves are quite fine. I don't know why he's blitzing them, it's a 5 minute game. Already this is weird. You want to put your knights out first, so... Probably he's gonna play some kind of setup that he feels comfortable with. I'm just gonna continue to develop normally, put the bishop on b2. And, well, yeah, he loses the tempo, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a huge deal, but it's not something you want to do. And this is definitely not something you want don't want to do. He's uh, severely weakening his white squares now. If you can exchange this uh, queenside fiancera bishop against the kingside fiancera bishop, and you want to exchange the bishops, I mean, not the bishop for a knight. It's a definite mistake. So d5 now is probably good. Pawn takes, knight takes, we get good control over light squares. Also, we open up this bishop because he's forced to take. Don't think we have anything tactical. Uh, now, if knight takes, queen takes, attacks the knight. And he can't move it because the rook will be hanging. And g7 is also hanging, so he can't take care of all of that. So, small tactical trick or a tactical blunder. Because, well, also he was not using his time very much. So he protects the knight. Uh, I will take the pawn. Simply retreat the bishop. Keeping control of d4 and e5 when I can just take the knight if it comes there. Uh, he's attacking me, but of course I'm going to see that. So uh, let's try this square. We're attacking 8 7 pawn. Still keeping the pressure here. Just take it and then take on h7. There's not going to be anything wrong with that. So, okay, it's done two pawns and it's quite hopeless. Just to this player to use his time better. Uh, bishop h5 is also possible. I'll play here first. Idea bishop h5. Now finally he's using his time. I mean, you have five minutes. And as, you, as you can see, he's only used two minutes. Uh, he should have used them more wisely. Uh, yeah, let's just actually uh, double the rooks. I mean, I can check king of seven, but he can always escape to a e6. I may or may not miss something. Doesn't really matter. On top of the rooks. Well, king e6. Uh, just wondering if I have something quicker. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just try to finish this quickly and move to the next one. And 
and he's not going to be able to save the rope now. For king f8, queen h8, I win the rook. And we're on a mate. Check, check, check. I will mate on e6. In a few moves. So yeah, I think I'll play three minute games so they can't take this long to uh, stall the game. Check. Check. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna get passed for not mating him quicker, but what are you gonna do? This guy, 1400, 1883. Get him white. With the English, he's playing the opening. Normally, so far. Mm, I can play knight of 3 I'm going to play e3 now. Just because I don't think he knows the lines. Yeah, 3 3 d5 is, I think, the uh, critical line. Okay, now actually, queen d7, I win a piece. So, let's see his tactical awareness. Uh, again, uh, he can't come to d3 now, and after uh, a3, I win a piece. So. Tactical awareness, and just you know knowing. I mean, he played some normal moves, but didn't really know the the setup well enough. And this is a a trick worth knowing. D4 with tempo and D5. So slight like an all but you know his moves were okay. It's just it was an unfortunate. How it uh, turned out for him there. So he's taking his time, that's okay. Uh, but there's no saving the piece. And yeah, I would rather give it the knight than the bishop, probably. And okay, now we just need to play solid rock a piece, so uh, apart from about to happen, just protect the pawn, take this pawn if I uh, can next move. He's not really <laughs> threatening anything. He'll just take it if he wants. So attacks my bishop, I just retreat. Uh, 
and again, lack of tactical awareness, he just walks into a uh, into a fork in one. He take back immediately, of course, he takes. And now I don't really have any good advice for him. <laughs> Doesn't matter what he gives up, it's two pieces now, and it's completely hopeless. And he has no pieces to throw at my king, so... At least in a blitz game you want to try, I mean if you're already down a piece or, or, or plenty of pawns, you want to try to, uh, you know, throw something at your opponent. Uh, what should we take? Take this, we can also throw this in, I mean, there's no danger to my king really. Just to demonstrate, uh, now I think I'll take here. G3 is okay, so let's take the queen and now knight d5, attack the rook and let's see again, uh, tactical awareness, okay, we went there, doesn't matter, we'll attack this, ding, ding, ding. Um, I'm gonna give him a Check here. I'm gonna attack something. Probably gonna take this. And well, that just uh, thanks the queen, and he will probably give me a maiden g7 next move or resign. Okay, tactical awareness there. Let's see if somebody's seeking a game. Okay, nineteen ten. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's play the nineteen ten. Oh, he left. Okay, twenty three hundred too strong. We want to play somebody a little bit weaker. See their mistakes. Maybe somebody slightly over 1400. Uh, let's seek. Choose a formula. Let's say 1500 and up to uh, 1843 <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. Let's see, can rate it and rate it. And we get a friendly game with an 18.05. So he should be much better. So we expect after opening theory. So he's playing the white side of a modern penalty. So far, so good. If he plays f4, he. Uh, he has some books, he's gonna play h3, and if not, if they're bishop d3, he's playing the modern main line. So, okay, bishop b2. It's probably a mix up of lines already. Yeah, that's slightly optimistic. Mm. <laughs> Problem protecting the pawn already. Bishop g5 maybe was. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna play here. It looks weird, but it, it's okay. I think get some. Uh, okay, he stops this. So okay, nice awareness of that. And now maybe I'll go with. Uh, I don't think this is good. So he's trying to be aggressive, but it's not controlled enough. And he doesn't doesn't really have any attack. I mean, h5, and then what? So uh, potentially b5 there? No, not yet. So let's. Well, I could have played b6, bishop a6, but let's just go for a b5. 
move here. Uh, need to watch my time. If he takes, it's definitely a mistake. He's almost never made me if he uh, exchanges these, these bishops. Uh, take it. Play b5. And I shouldn't get too arrogant. Uh, definitely a much more capable player than the others. Well, 400 is a significant rating jump, so we should expect that, really. Um, okay, let's see what it does after this. Might have some slightly misplayed pieces actually. Uh, B4, he probably should play A4. Can't give the rook uh, active, so I'll play here just to get get the rook in. Uh, if it goes to a stupid square, I'll take on B2 probably. Why not? On the other hand, he can win me. Let's uh, try the bishop here. Bishop a6. B2 is still hanging. Mm. I'm just trying to be active somehow. This king is stuck now. I can uh, take on e4 in some lines, I can take on d5 in some lines, probably around here. So, I mean, he's very far away from making anything happen on the h file. Can't double anything. I'll take with a knight, pawn takes with takes. So I make a knight, knight, rook, boom, rook. I can even play here because uh, it doesn't have a good square for the queen. That protects the uh, bishop. The only square is e2. Well, actually, it's the only square. And then we can take on c3 with the rook. So it's game over now. So slightly clumsy pieces. Obviously, he played much, much more sensible than the, the first two players. That's supposed to be expected. So the opening was okay up to uh, this G4 right there. It just looked a little bit, just looked a little bit strange. So it was time to try to attack, but. Uh, didn't really have any places to do that. Okay. So she created and unrated. Maybe yeah, one more maybe. One more game. So yeah, I don't know. You you gotta tell me if this is interesting. Uh, felt like uh, you know the mistakes could have been more uh, more instructive somehow. Uh, crappy games, but I kind of like it more when they make like uh, an obvious development mistake or a uh, huge possession of blunders. We haven't had had uh, much of that. This guy maybe sixteen hundred. So the angels are normally normally don't do that, but it's a good line for black, I think. So again, let's see. Ninety-seven already slightly uh, slightly weird. Why not nine of six? 
So he wants to play like h5, h4. I will not let him do that. I will play h4. So let's grab uh, the center since he's offering me that. He's probably going to play h5. I will just stop it. Uh, and if he sacrifices, then so be it. It should not work. Uh, we'll sell a few pieces out. And my king rather safe. Uh, here I will definitely attack the knight and gain space. Takes with pawn, takes with pawn. Mm, it's a question. Uh, I kind of don't want to take, but uh, C4 will be hanging, so I kind of have to. So let's not spend too much time. Uh, so we take. And uh, just want to put the queen here to protect h4. Even though I don't think taking should work, I don't want to give him a chance to do that. I have to keep the pawn protected, so let's go here. I think this whole operation is a little bit stupid. Uh, he still has a, a well working position. Let's push him back. Because of g6. Well, I can't take because of uh, d6. Mm -hmm. So, something like this. Probably castle queenside. G5 is uh, hmm, it's interesting. I can probably just uh, I'm gonna be materialistic and just take the piece on offer here. F4, queen takes G3, pawn takes E5. H4, rook f3, I should have uh, sufficient defensive resources, so no need to panic. I'm sure he will play h4. If someone like rook g8, probably queen f3, threatening to take on f7. So he takes it there. I will play rook f3 just because. <laughs> he will play queen g5, attack my rook. I will double the rooks and he will play rook g8, I will take on f7. So you know, he's, he's just gonna play straight forward and, and attack. And nothing wrong with his moves. He protects g2, so that's okay. He should probably just uh, castle queen set. Well done. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, unpin the bishop while we figure out what to do next. That's uh, an okay move. Let's see what he wants to do after this. Queen h4, queen h3. He can't take on c4. <laughs> so he's actually getting some, some counterplay here. I think I have to play here now. Takes, takes. Uh, yeah, fortunately, it's pinned here, so. Uh, and this queen is slightly out of play now. And now I have to uh, play a little faster. He's 
Chip C8, interesting. I'll just take an E5. So fortunately it's catching up on the clock. And this game was much more difficult than the, uh, the one against the 1800. The Queen P4 doesn't do anything. Except threaten B2, it's, uh, it's nothing to worry about. Rook C8, he will probably play, and then Rook F2, just covering uh, B2. So it goes there, maybe I just go here. Hmm. And now we have any uh, time at so. Try and flag us? Come on. Avian. Uh, maybe one more. Thirty. Can't remember if it's the same one as before. It's a ready game. So will you take a D five? Probably. Mm hmm. Okay. We'll probably just do it like this and see what he does. I'll put the bishop on the long diagonal. It's what I like. So okay, he clearly has some kind of an opening system that he likes to play. I will not put my knight. G6 was maybe not necessary, uh, but okay. I think I'll play D4 now. I'm not sure I like my play here. <laughs> I'll just block everything. But hopefully, yeah. Uh, Keep the king in the center for the time being. There's nothing a bit going on. I might play knight e3, takes takes. Difficult to protect this. It's slightly risky, but I'll take the chance. Now, of course, if it takes, then I have a protected pawn on e3, which is very good. And it's actually not easy to deal with. Queen takes is a possibility, but no, let's just put that upon. And this should be a. Uh, surely he can go to, go to an end game uh, with these pawns. So let's just see if the end game is enough. He does have pressure here, but it shouldn't be enough. That's his castle. To play B4, oh, I can't go there yet. So uh, yeah, it's actually not so easy. Let's try to open the position since we have a bishop. Takes knight takes g5, and even though he gets to take uh, knight g6 and take on e7 uh, and take on g5, I open up from a rook now. So it's rook. Doesn't really matter. Let's go with this one. Uh, stop with the rooks.
And if he takes, uh, he has the water for rook d2, takes, and he can't stop the pawns. Okay, takes, takes, uh, rook c1 is interesting with the idea of b4, c5 himself. Yeah, I didn't figure that out, fortunately. Uh, No, definitely leading the race. There's a slight chance I could be <laughs> mis-evaluating something, but you know, I'm feeling confident about my position right now. I'm just gonna take it. Don't know if the extra pair of pawns matters. Rook c1, e2, c5, rook d1 check. So e2 now, what does he do? Well, I can just win the pawn. So he didn't uh, really uh, give me the uh, most challenging uh, defense there. So now it's just easy. Should be easy now, rook c3. And no, oh, whoa, 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 that's not get ahead of ourselves now I can play e4 and check him and somehow I think we should be okay I'm threatening maiden 1 so he has to react so that was maybe the most challenging game I guess mm. try to block it all up well actually I helped him I have no idea how this position is so yeah okay that's enough for now uh, tell me how you like this format and people like it then maybe I'll do more of these. Thank you, see you in the next one, bye bye.